Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. Once you have your image pulled up, the first thing I want you to do is to duplicate your layer. Next, we're going to click on the quick selection tool and then hit select subject. Now I'm going to use the plus minus brushes to clean up the selection. Plus adds to the selection and minus subtracts from the selection. After the selection is finalized, I'm going to click on add layer mask. Note the selection doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to place the selection back in the same place. Next, I'm going to duplicate the background layer one more time. And this time I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Now it's time to create the filter. So click filter, blur, and then select motion blur. I'm going to select the distance value as 70 and keep the angle at zero so the image looks realistic. Next, I want the red car to pop out. So I'll make the background layer black and white. The way you do that is by clicking adjustments and then click black and white. For a more dramatic effect, I'm going to select my car layer and add hue saturation adjustment. This will allow me to pop out the red even more. So I'm going to click on the hand tool, click on the car, and then play with the saturation slider and the lightness slider. Finally, let's compare the before and after images. And it looks good to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.